Glens Ferry and surrounding communities stepped onto the Beyond Books bus for the first time, where they were met with accessible educational tools and resources. Do you like all the books and the toys? Yeah! <laughs> bus is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited that our community has access to this now. Um, I did take Jet on the bus and he absolutely loved it. It has a great area for kids with books, a little reading nook, and then it also has technology and internet access for adults. This is the first of eight outreach vehicles and is paid for by Federal American Rescue Plan Act funds awarded through the Idaho Commission for Libraries. Not everybody can get into a library building, so taking those services where people live, where they're at, you know, nursing homes, schools, uh, it's just a way to say, hey, we're, we're part of the community, we want to help however we can. The Glens Ferry Public Library wanted to extend library services to communities like Hammett and King Hill by bringing the library to them. Because we're a rural communi community, we need to get out to the further away areas, and I wanted something that was weather friendly that we could use more year round, that people could go in and use. Services like this help bridge that digital divide and make Wi-Fi available so people can learn, they can apply for jobs, they can connect to health professionals. The bus also provides in-person homework help, a children's area, early literacy tools, and books. The Spanish children's books are donated by a Glens Ferry High School student. I think it'll help quite a bit. Uh, we have a big uh, Hispanic population here and, you know, uh, it'll give a variety of books to students and uh, younger kids that don't really know much English and, you know, it'll make them feel a lot more comfortable. The bus will be driving around and serving communities every Friday. Bella Bright, Idaho News 6.